You're right, guys. Terry from CH Tree Services. Just going to briefly talk to you about the uh, Steel MS160T and the Husqvarna uh, T536 Li XP. They're both Steel and Husqvarna's um, entrance saws into the top handle battery lithium market. Uh, so I'll briefly go into how I found using both saws. Um, the Husky I've been using since 2013, and the Steel I've been using since 2015, I think. Um, First off, we'll start with the Husky. I find it to be a really good saw. Um, there's a few problems with the Husky that I've noticed. One was the battery keeps falling out, but they have put a new tab on it, which I will try and point to. You see it here. There's a little tab just next to the battery slot, um, and that has stopped it happening. Since they've, you know, they've done it under warranty and put a new case on it, and since then the battery hasn't popped out. But we did drop a few batteries, so that was a big minus in my opinion. Um, I find the chain on it is um, a thinner profile than a normal top handle, um, and it does cut really well. Uh, the charge takes about 25 minutes to half an hour, and you'll flatten it within about 25 minutes to half an hour. It comes with a 4.2 amp battery, which is um, really good to be fair. It's you know you, you need that one to get the um, half an hour use out of it. I wouldn't bother going for anything um, with a smaller capacity. It's you know I just wouldn't bother. Right now, that's sort of the basics of Husqvarna. We'll move over to the uh, steel. Now the steel's got slightly smaller guide bar, a slightly thinner profile chain. It does cut a little, a, night, a lot tighter. Um, is the way I'd explain that. Uh, when you cut, when you're doing pruning, it, um, it just sort of cuts through a little bit, a little bit nicer. Um, Battery-wise, it's got a better battery. They've they've um, they've sort of overtaken Husqvarna in the last six months. They've now got the AP300 lithium-ion batteries. Um, they're six amp, 36 volt batteries versus your 4.2s for your Husqvarna. Uh, they last, to be fair, I probably do get, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. I mean, I can almost do it an entire day on one battery. Um, I've never gone over two batteries ever with the steel. Sometimes on the Husqvarna's I have, um, but obviously they're different capacities. But as, as, it, as yet, I don't think the Husqvarna have a higher capacity as far as I'm aware. Now I'm using both the QC330 quick charge and the AL500 quick charger for the steel. Um, again, I wouldn't bother getting the... Uh, the cheaper chargers, uh, it's a waste of time, you know, unless you're unless you're a hobbyist. If you're a professional, get the best or go stick with petrol. Um, versus petrol, uh, for pruning, I think these saws are excellent. They're, you know, you've got no vibrations from each saw. You've not got very uh, a lot of noise, which really helps because you can you can operate both saws without your um, earmuffs on, so you can hear what's going on with the ground crew a lot, so it's safer. Uh, I find the steel's a little bit quieter, a little bit more more refined but again they have upped their game in the last six months and um, I do find the steel is a better saw to hold for power I think the Husky does have the edge just about has the edge on power it's a little bit more powerful but the steel lasts a bit longer now the Husky comes with two settings um, 15 meters a second or 20 meters a second if you're pruning obviously just put it on 15 meters a second but again I find the steel has no setting and it just seems to be I seem to use it a lot more so you know right now still in my opinion are the uh, the better saw but it is very very much apples for oranges you know there's there's so many different little bits about each saw that's good so it's going to be down to personal preference it's just my preference is the uh, steel at the moment and um, what I do like about the steel is if the Husqvarna throws up an error code which one of my head streamers did, you have to take it to an authorised dealer for them to reflash the drive or the memory or whatever they do, but it won't reset itself, so the saw will be dead. You have to take it in. I found this problem out and it cost me, you know, more money than I wanted to pay to have that fixed. It was literally a month out of warranty, which ain't that always the way. Um, the steel, on the other hand, as told by the dealers, is if the steel goes wrong, it just resets itself every time you unplug it. So you don't get that problem. So the software is better in the steel, um, which is another plus. I don't really think I can say a lot more about it on the subject really. I, I can go into a little bit about you know how it feels cutting through the wood, but ultimately, you know, people will show you films and videos and whatnot of actually cut speed through wood, etc. But the problem is you've got a human operating it and it's inconsistent. What I would say is I, I personally find that the steel cuts better overall. You know, it's a, it's a better all-rounder than the Husqvarna. Um Weight wise, I think again, I think the steel feels better, it feels lighter, it may not be, but it just it feels a lot better. Um, so, my vote is for steel at the moment, but 
let's see what Husky can bring out in the next year or so. Um, and I hope that's been helpful to you. Um, you know, if you're a professional tree surgeon, you've got two really good saws there. Uh, if you're a beginner or just getting into tree surgery, I probably wouldn't spend my money on them just yet. I would go for the, um, the petrol versions, um, you know, because they're going to do everything that you need. Whereas this, these ones are for pruning; they're not really going to be good for takedowns. So unless you've got money to burn, the petrol ones are still the way to go at the moment. But if you're a more established company or you've got the money to burn, then you know I'd have I'd have the petrol one and I'd have both, like I've done. So um, yeah, hopefully that summarises it all for you. If you've got any comments, ask away and I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.